Hey, what's up guys, Amnesio Cole, and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. Although this one might be a little bit more abstract, seeing as I'm gonna be showing you guys how I create my thumbnails, and we're just gonna jump right into it. The first thing I always start with is a background. Uh, by the way, for reference, this is the thumbnail I'm gonna be using for the down bad montage on our main channel. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description and a card up in the top right of your screen. And yeah, so we have the background right here. This is usually what I start with. Now, if you want to start getting into making thumbnails, it's always a good idea to have a folder full of these backgrounds. So if you don't have a background for a specific thumbnail, you can just grab one of these, uh, drag and drop, and you're good. Uh, usually with backgrounds like this with a little Fortnite watermark, I'll usually scale it up a little bit. The next thing I do is use the blur tool, convert this to a smart object, use the blur tool just to get rid of a lot of the detail in the image. The next thing I do is add the skins, which for this specific one were, uh, I think Nizio Salt, Nizio Zack, and Nizio Unknown. So I just got a random siege operator, Nizio Salt's main skin, and Nizio Zack's main skin. Just like the backgrounds, it's always good to have a folder full of skins or different people or cutouts that you could put on thumbnails. So you can see I have a sizable collection, uh, even for other games like Watch Dogs and Rainbow Six Siege. Now, if you're wondering where I get all of these high quality PNGs from, it is a website called fnbr.co, which will also be linked in the description. You go up here to cosmetics and then go to icons or PNGs and you get pretty much everything in the game. Literally every back bling, every, you know, all of this in HD. All you got to do is click on it, right click, save image as, and it'll save as an image with transparency. If we just open this up real quick. Drag it into Photoshop. And as we can see clearly, it is transparent. So you don't have to worry about cutting it out or anything like that. The next thing I usually add is a grunge background. If you don't know what a grunge background is, it's any uh, background that basically you can layer over another layer and then reduce the opacity to kind of give it a, a faded look. I'll show you another example right here on another video that recently went up on our main channel. This is also just a specific grunge background uh, in which I reduce the opacity to 48. Usually around 50 to 30 is a good range. Like the skins in the backgrounds, I also have a folder for grunge backgrounds, things that I can just layer over them. I also, I specifically like these polygonal grunge backgrounds because they look nice. And the last thing that I add to a video usually is text that relates to the video. So in this case, the song used in the montage was called Down Bad, so I just decided to name the montage Down Bad. And the text on the thumbnail was Down Bad. Now, if you're wondering what the font that I'm using, it's Brush Crazy. Uh, you can find that on defont.com. I will link it if you guys want. No, just a solid yellow color. Usually I would use a gradient. Uh, I have a whole bunch of saved gradients that I use for different videos and whatnot. But for this one, I didn't really require anything too complex, so I just thought a simple yellow color would do. Now breaking down the other two effects, stroke is pretty self-explanatory. It just adds a border to the text, which serves two purposes. One, it distinguishes the text from the rest of the background. You see, if I remove that, it kind of gets blurred and you probably wouldn't be able to see it on a YouTube thumbnail. And number two, with this font especially, it actually makes the text look pretty nice. Now, Outer Glow is something that I'll get to. Lately, I've been using Vivid Light, uh, which basically, it looks really, really nice. I don't really have any good examples of it. You can see how it kind of works if I turn up the saturation, but I usually keep it down here closer to white, but still give it that yellow tone. Uh, I usually do 77 opacity, around 77 range, and then just play around with these two settings depending on what the thumbnail is or whatever I'm doing. I think this looks pretty nice, but you know, just play around with these however you like. And then after that, you've got a thumbnail. You can add anything else, such as in this thumbnail, Nizio Zack clutched out the win in Fortnite. So I added a Victory Royale transparent image to the thumbnail. Pretty easy to find, just Google them. By the way, the Fortnite font that I'm using in this thumbnail is luckiest guy if you guys were wondering and yeah i pretty much covered everything just giving a little insight on my thumbnail making process and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if there's any other photoshop tutorials or premiere tutorials that you would like me to do and yeah it's been cool peace